what is happening right now is the use of yoga as a therapy. So I believe that in the future, this will become more systematic. There will be a more understanding of how yoga therapy and Ayurveda has played a role in ancient India and how it can play a role in, modern, in the modern world. How yoga and Ayurveda can play a role in the modern world. And this is going to need the help of Western doctors, Ayurvedic doctors, physiotherapists, yogic specialists. They all have to get together and they are doing it right now in little pockets here and there. And there is a understanding, a mutual understanding of when do you use yoga therapy? When is Ayurveda going to be called into play? Okay. When should you apply Western medicine in extreme mm -hmm. cases? Okay. They are not all one or the other. It's a matter of forming a mutually useful set of tools for healing. Okay. So I don't believe that alternative healing means the total absence of all types of Western methods or, of healing or, or medicine. It's just when do they come into play? Okay. How can yoga meditation help a person who has depression? Okay. That person is taking depression medicine so that they can control some of their thoughts. Okay, so they have less thoughts. Now what do you do? Do you stay that way forever? Or for the life of the person has to take that medicine? Or while they have this periods of control, there are yogic methods which can utilize these periods of control where they can become less dependent on medicine. Okay, where they can find their true source of their depression and overcome those sources of depression. Whether they be childhood traumas, whether they be even karma from a previous life, whatever is causing this deep-seated depression, we believe that yogic methods will be found to deal with them while that person is taking Western medicine to control the symptoms of the depression. I'm just giving an example of a depression. Yoga can work not just mentally, but physically and energetically. A person who practices yoga is practicing preventive medicine. A regular practice of physical postures and good breathing techniques helps to keep a person in a shape as well physically and energetically to prevent diseases from taking hold. One must not forget that energy not only comes from the air around us, the pran in the air we breathe, but also from the food we eat. So a yogic diet is one that focuses on fresh food. Okay? Food that is processed less. Because the more processed the food is, the less energy or pran there is in it. The more it goes through processes, machines, more pran is depleted from the food. The older the food, the less pran, because pran leaks out. It okay, goes back into the, the universal pran. So old food, food that has been kept for some time, canned food, uh, those food have less pran. So from a yogic perspective, it is not healthy to eat old food. It is not healthy to eat processed food. Foods can be looked at from the perspective of whether they promote goodness and light. That is called sattvic. Okay. And there are certain foods 
which are stimulating the mind and the body and the nervous system. These are called rajasic food. Okay? So they tend to make a person more active, outward going, right? restless. So rajasic food would tend to make a person restless in their mind and body. And such foods are spicy foods can be rajasic if they're not balanced. Tamasic food are the old spoiled foods and the food that has very little pran because you eat a lot of it to get a very little energy. So you tend to overeat because the, more, the less energy there is in the food, the more you have to eat to get the same amount of energy from fresh food. Okay? So the body gets all this carbohydrate and protein which adds to the bulk but doesn't give you the life force or the pran. So that is one of the causes of obesity, is the eating of more food to try to get the pran into the body, or into the energy body. And eating processed food is one of the causes of it. Okay. Okay. So tamasic food generally makes one rather inert. Okay, because when you eat tamasic food, it means you're not getting much energy. So if you don't get much energy, you just want to sit around and watch TV and not do anything. <laughs>